It's now called Virginia Beach, a great resort destination. Back in April 1607, it was called Paradise by explorers from the Virginia Company when they first landed at Cape Henry in the Chesapeake Bay. But long ago before any English settlers arrived, Virginia's first people, the Powhatan, the Monacan, and Cherokee enjoyed Paradise firsthand. Join award-winning photographer Marcus Holman and wellness professional Jocelyn Sidwell Holman traveling the waterways, exploring history and culinary delights as they set the course for adventure. Today, Marcus looks at the history of a fascinating storied hotel, the Cavalier in Virginia Beach. And Jocelyn will be cooking with the sous chef of the Cavalier Golf and Country Club, getting ready for their Bon Voyage party later on. We'll also reveal a great craft cocktail made especially for Virginia Beach. Here it is. The beautiful Cavalier Hotel. It was named the Cavalier after a local newspaper contest in 1927. The Cavalier Hotel opened in 1929. Many famous guests have stayed here, including 10 U.S. presidents. The Cavalier was the place to stay and be seen. It closed in 1973, but in 2014, the Cavalier made the National Register of Historic Places and plans were made to reopen the luxury hotel. The newly renovated Cavalier Hotel reopened in 2018. Let me show you one of my favorite places. Let's go. We're here today with Andrew Yancey, the owner and distiller of Tarnished Truth, and we're going to find out what's behind the name. Andrew, tell us a little bit about how you got the name Tarnished Truth. Sure. So there were so many stories behind the hotel that were kind of tarnished. Uh, mob bosses and presidents and actors and actresses that used to come here. Um, some are true, some may not be. Um, so we wanted to name it the Tarnished Truth. Very cool. Cheers. Cheers. So what makes a great place like the Cavalier Golf and Yacht Country Club run so well? The kitchen. I'm here with friend and sous chef Cody Herring. He's actually going to be helping us with the entire Bon Voyage menu tonight. So what we've got on the menu, we have sweet potato rounds that's going to have roasted mushrooms and an herb um, goat cheese sauce over top along with raw oysters, and we're actually also going to be making fresh local rockfish. I love fresh ingredients, and the local farmer's market is the best place to go, no matter where you live. Fresh ingredients are critical to any healthy meal. Our area boasts a great farmer's market. I love going there. And for me, there's nothing like getting fresh caught fish. Shopping at Dockside, the staff is knowledgeable and ready to help. Ancient oyster middens, or dumping grounds, found in First Landing State Park prove the oyster's popularity among the area's earliest inhabitants. The Linhaven oyster is a favorite of the locals and has been known to grow the size of a dinner plate, which is pretty amazing. Time to make the craft cocktail that we're calling the First Landing in honor of the settlers. Take some apple cider, lemon and apple slices, cinnamon sticks, and most importantly, the bourbon. And you have a delicious cocktail. The weather wasn't cooperating, but that's not stopping our going away party. We're just hoping for smooth sailing tomorrow. Our Bon Voyage meal is ready to serve. We have our sweet potato rounds, our raw oysters, and of course the rockfish and the beautiful craft cocktail, the first landing. Cheers, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Cheers. Cheers. Bon appetit. Cheers. 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 I was standing on a white sandy beach. I thought I heard a voice call out to me. You never know where Marcus and Jocelyn are heading to next as they set the course for adventure. Hopefully, the captain knows.